boxing fanatics. Well, let's talk about another mega boxing event is taking place in Saudi Arabia. AJ vs Nogano, but you know what? I don't think they're headlining. I think they're in undercard. But nevertheless, they are there. It's interesting, okay? And let's talk about why is Nogano coming back? I mean, he got defeated, but did he? I mean, from the last fight, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a big Fury fan, maybe you know that. Um, but I think in this fight, the wrong man won. I think at the best, this could be a draw. Nothing else, nothing else but a draw. So, I kind of view Nogano as Derek Chisora on the steroids. You know, he gonna take three, four shots to land one big one. He's strong, he has good chin, he does not, he's not afraid to get punched. He gonna push the action, he's there to win it, to get the money. And actually, talking about money, there's something funny about it. So yeah guys, money is value and these two guys are bringing in value. Look at this undercard, I mean AJ is an undercard and Parker is above in the under, uh, undercard in this fight event, okay? It's very interesting, you know, a few years ago I'll be like, if someone would say that AJ would be under Joseph Parker, I'll be like, what you talking about? But yes, the funny thing about money, guys, which I kind of noticed it, is that no one is bickering about the money. No one is, oh, I want to be first in the ring, I want to this, I want to that. People are getting paid. People are getting paid and that's it. That's how it goes long. Because what I understand, the money is not tied to promoters. It's not tied to the pay-per-views or ticket sales. They are being paid out or they've been subsidized for these events from the government to make good shows to get people attracted uh, to come over enjoy their weekend or for foreign investments kind of trying to build up the whole city the whole country as a place where interesting things are happening but if you go for the holidays you gonna be able to see great shows and it's not only boxing but guys if this happens remember someone needs to lose it which means AJ not gonna be boxing in UK because it's easier to box in Saudi Arabia than UK you don't need to hustle around you don't need you need to do much less because everything could be done very easily you've been um, supported by governments so or licensing and all that that's been taken care of very easily so for all the sports events and stuff like this and music events could shift towards Saudis a lot so guys, if you have possibilities to jump on the big events, uh, I think you should do that because I think the amount of money Saudis are offering is better than money is being offered, let's say, in Las Vegas or London. So there is no incentives for none of these boxers to actually box here, even though UK has an amazing boxing scene. Uh, it's just going to be split between two boxes those who can make it to Saudi Arabia and those who are behind so yeah guys those are my two thoughts anyway guys uh, leave a like leave a comment until next time